Hello YouTube, this is Chartar Yu-Gi-Oh! with a card discussion video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but in this video, the card in question is Slifer the Sky Dragon. I have been waiting on this card to be released for a long, long time. I love the Egyptian God cards. When I was really younger, I used to watch the anime and Battle City was just the coolest thing ever to me. So I've been waiting on the God cards for a long time and... I was really disappointed it took so long to get Slifer, but let me tell you, it is worth waiting for. Chances are you probably already know this, but in case you don't, I'm going to oops, I'm going to go ahead and read the effect off to you. You must tribute three monsters to normal summon this card. You cannot set this card. The normal summon in this card cannot be negated. When this card is normal summoned, cards and effects cannot be activated. If this card is special summoned, send it to the graveyard during the end phase. So, same summoning conditions and all that as Obelisk. It can be special summoned. It's destroyed if it is, but it can be special summoned. So if you're using that new Creator God of Light Exodia type card, you can use that. This will be easier. Now, if only Rod didn't suck so bad. Now, if if this, this card gains 1,000 attack and defense for each card in your hand, when your opponent normal summons or special summons a monster in face-up attack position, that monster loses 2,000 attack, and if the attack is becomes zero by this card's effects, destroy that monster. Yes, you are reading this correctly. This is the actual effect of Slifer. Basically, if you get this thing out, you have control over anything your opponent can summon. If it is not destroyed, it still loses 2,000 attack, meaning it is going to have a lot of trouble getting over Slifer. Now, all you have to do is protect Slifer, which, like, as I put it in my Watt deck, because this deck has no problem maintaining monsters on the field. I will usually have the tributes for it, and I can use that as an alternate win condition. But, yeah, like I said, I have plenty of stuff to protect it. So, basically, if you have the right deck, this is a control-style card. You want it in a control-style deck. But, yeah, I would think that if you get this out, and you, you play it smart, like, don't run it into a deep prison or something like that. You know, play smart. But if you can get this out, you are very well set up for to win that game. Now, potential decks, obviously. I think it is good in Watts, because Watts are very good at protecting themselves. They're very good at protecting other cards. They can, and like I said, there will be tributes for it. And this is my Watt Burn deck, so it's probably not the ideal card here. I'm going to build a Watt Slifer deck, which actually runs 3 Slifer. Focus on the Slifer a bit. So I'm going to work on that. I might get that deck profile up sometime. But I think Watts are a very good deck for Slifer. Um, I'm trying to think offhand. Frog Monarchs might be able to do it. Or Frogs. Anything that generates enough tributes... Basically, anything that you could run Obelisk in, you can run Slifer in. And Slifer is just as good, if not better, than Obelisk. And one last thing, I'm going to go to the Wikia here. Just so you can get a bigger, more clear picture of the artwork. This thing is amazing. This is the best art of any of the three God cards. This picture, this card just blows me away. I cannot wait for this to be out in the TCG. It just came out in OCG. And I cannot wait to get this card. I'm really hoping it's just in the standard jumps. So everyone can get it and make it more accessible. Because this people are going to be after this card. I guarantee it. So that is my opinions on Slifer the Sky Dragon. And peace out YouTube.